In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about two-point perspective. So the question we ask is, what is the difference between one point and two point? Well, we need to ask ourselves, what does the point stand for? And that would be a vanishing point. So one point perspective would have one vanishing point, and then two point perspective would have two vanishing points. So I'm going to begin by drawing a horizon line and then towards the ends of my paper, I'm going to draw two vanishing points. Now I want to make sure that these points are not very large. If they're too big, then our lines won't be very accurate when we're drawing. And we're just going to begin with some boxes. So what I'm going to do is draw a box or a line above the horizon, a line on the horizon. So it's above and below, and then a line below the horizon. This is how we get started. So generally when we look at images with two-point perspective, we can see two sides of an object, kind of like we're looking at it from the corner. So to begin, what I'm going to do is lightly draw converging lines from the top and bottom of each of these lines. So remember, just the same with one point perspective, when we're looking at something that is above and below the horizon line, so it's sitting on the horizon line, you're looking at it at eye level. The horizon line is always at eye level. So if you're looking at something straight on, you won't see the top and bottom. You'll only see the sides or the front or the back, something like that. When you're looking at something that is above the horizon line, it's going to be above your eye level. So we'll be able to see some sides and we'll also see the bottom. And then when we look at something that's below the horizon line, that's below our eye level. So we'll only see the sides and the top because you're looking down at it, just like you'd be looking up at something above the horizon. So always keep those things in mind, it'll help you remember what you should be seeing, what is correct. So let's just get started with one box at a time. So this one we won't see the top or bottom because it's on the horizon line. And all we need to do now is create some parallel lines to show the sides of the box. So they'll be parallel to this first line that we drew. Depending on how big I want my box, I can slide it out further or keep it thin. So maybe if I want a thin side here, I'll just do a ruler with. I'll line it up with this, and then voila, pretty easy. We know it's parallel. But then if on this side I want it to be a little bit wider, I'll line it up with my first line, and I'll slide it straight out, trying to keep my ruler as parallel to this as I can. So I can eyeball that if I need to. And then in between those two converging lines, I will draw my other line. So there would be our first box in two-point perspective. And I'll erase the horizon line inside of here because we wouldn't see it. And I can erase these extra converging lines. And here we have it, our first box. Now let's do the one that's above the horizon line. So again, using the top and bottom of the line, I'm going to draw converging lines to each of the vanishing points. So there's one, and two, and always remember, draw it light until you get it right. You have to erase most of these lines anyway, so you don't want to draw too dark, otherwise you won't be able to erase them and it won't look very good in the end.
I would normally draw this a bit lighter, but in order for you to see it, I need to draw a little bit darker. Okay, so here's where we start, and just like this one, we need to draw parallel lines to show us the sides of the box. So I'll line it up with the center line and drag it out to where I want it, making sure this is still parallel to this. Do the same over here. Okay, so this is where we ended with the first box, but when we can see the top or bottom of one of these, we have a couple more steps to do. So at these points where the parallel lines meet the converging lines, we're going to draw another converging line. And this actually goes to the opposite vanishing point. So I'm going to line up my ruler with that point and then match it with the opposite vanishing point. And this is going to create the bottom of the box. And I'll do the same over here. So now we have the bottom of a box. At this point, we can erase our extra converging lines. All right, so now we have a box above the horizon line. So just like you'd be lo looking at something above you, you would see the bottom of it and the sides. Now we're going to move on to the box that will be below the horizon line. So same process applies. We'll connect our converging lines from the vanishing points to the tops and bottoms of this line. And if we were doing a drawing, I noticed that this line goes over the top of the box I already did. So I don't have to draw through this box. I don't have to continue when I go here. As long as I know that my ruler lines up with this vanishing point here, all I need to do is draw until I hit the box, and then I can stop. Unless if I want this piece to be in front of this, then I would continue the line. But I think I'd like to have this box overlapping over the top. And again, once our converging lines are drawn, we'll draw our parallel lines. And I would like the bottom of this box to be underneath this one. So, I will draw my parallel line and go from the first line of this box down to the converging line here. And just like we did up here, we're going to connect to these points. Here we're just going to kind of imagine where that would be. So I will connect up this line and right where this is going to be, I'm going to do some parallel points. So that's where they meet, just so I know where to line up my ruler. And remember, we go to the opposite vanishing point. So since this is underneath this box, I'm just going to stop when I hit the box. And I made this point so that I have somewhere to line up with. Now line it up with the opposite vanishing point and draw across from behind the box. At this point we can erase all of those extra converging lines. So just to get better at this we can just keep making boxes different sizes, different shapes, above, below, overlapping. And that's just going to give you some more practice with how two-point perspective works. So maybe we'll do a couple more that are really close to one vanishing point and 
far away from another. So let's do one over here. I'm going to make a tall one. So I'll connect my converging lines here. And since this is behind it, I'll just stop when I hit the box. Then what's next? Parallel lines. So I'm going to put this really close to the vanishing point. There's one. And here's another. And we can erase our extra lines and erase the horizon line inside of the boxes. Maybe we'll do one really close to the vanishing point over here that's down below it. So once you get pretty comfortable with this, maybe if you know how long your building is going to be, you don't need to draw your converging lines all the way to a point, and you have less to erase. We'll make our parallel lines. It starts to get a little difficult when we have these really extreme angles like this. So you need to be extra cautious. Make sure that you really are parallel to the line. It's going to look kind of funky. And then we will connect to the opposite vanishing points again. So if you aren't drawing your lines all the way to the vanishing point, you need to be absolutely sure that your ruler is lined up. Because if it's not, you're going to have some really funky looking boxes. I'm going to say there's something wrong, and I can't quite figure it out. So it's always good to know before you start skipping steps. You need to be very comfortable before you start skipping. All right, so this would be your basic boxes in two-point perspective.